We all know acne is common. I mean, just think about this. Eight out of every 10 teens and young adults experience it. 80%. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's not just a matter of looking better, though. Acne is something that can really affect your confidence. So let's talk about causes and treatment. Well, this is the guy to talk to, Dr. Joel Schlesinger. Doctor, good to see you again. It's nice good to have you here. By. We love Great having to be you here. here. Yeah, Thank and, you. Uh, you know, I can think back. You know, I don't have a huge problem with acne, but as a teenager, mm -hmm. man, I can remember those days. It was tough. What, yep. what causes acne? Well, there's so many different causes, and it depends on if you're a woman or if you're a man. So if you're a guy, most of your causes are going to be hormonal. But for other causes, it may be something that you are just exposed to. So for example, if you go to the gym and you work out on equipment and you touch that equipment and then you touch your face, you could get bacteria or you could get all sorts of other infections from the equipment. Mm -hmm. Same thing for sports, like if you touch the ball, touch your face. There are a lot of reasons that you can actually pick up bacteria. Mm -hmm. And then there's also uh, other causes like diet. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. For women, hormones play a huge mm -hmm. role, huge role. It's when you're a, a teenager and as an adult. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what we tend to see is that when women start, start to have their first menses, they can tend to have a little bit of acne. So mm -hmm. that plays a big role. Mm -hmm. And then as you get older, you think, man, I thought these days were behind me. Why am I breaking out? But we, there are all kinds of treatment options available. But before we get to, because he brought in some awesome before and afters where you feel like, yes, there is hope. But you mentioned diet. Um, I felt like that was a myth, that diet could affect acne. You know, I think that dermatologists spent about 40 or 50 years trying to, to say that diet didn't cause acne. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Your mother was right. Give her the credit <laughs> that she was said. Was it chocolate? Because they always told me chocolate. It's, yeah. it's the milk. So the milk. if you have milk chocolate, yes. If you have dark chocolate, eat to your heart's content. Really? Yes. It's the milk that can cause acne. So like when people said pizza, because I would always hear that too, but if you think about dairy cheese, and cheese, yeah. cheese, it's the cheese. Then that's what, yeah, that, that was probably true. There have been a couple of studies that have recently been done that have shown that it's the milk. And interestingly enough, skim milk is worse than whole milk worse than whole milk. Even though there's less fat. I mean, it's less just... fat, it's the hormones that are in the milk. So gotcha. the cow has hormones. The hormones mm. are passed into the milk. The milk is taken into you. And those mm. hormones are actually slightly active in humans. Mm. So there are some people who drink milk and have some major problems. Skim milk is a little bit better, but actually what I recommend is almond milk because mm -hmm. almond mm, milk has sure. zero hormones, has all the vitamin D, all the calcium, huh. everything you need, and it's a great, great drink I'm too. Glad well, we asked I'm glad I'm about question. 30 years too late on this conversation. <laughs> Man, never, in middle school, had I known, I drank milk like it was going out of style um, when I was a young kid. Um, is, is acne something you need to see a dermatologist for? In, in many ways, yes. If your acne isn't responding, you should go in sooner rather than later before mm -hmm. it scars. Mm -hmm. What are the treatment before options? What can you do for it? Well, there are so many simple treatments. There are simple treatments that range from products that you can use. And I think everybody has tried the proactives of the world. And if that doesn't work, and most of the time it really won't work for mm -hmm. anything but the very minor uh, forms of acne, then you should go on to things like uh, maybe medications mm -hmm. that you can get from your dermatologist. Mm -hmm. So there are antibiotics, very simple antibiotics. There are other treatments that we can do in our spa or in our uh, clinic. Mm -hmm. And then other things like Accutane, some of these pictures. So for example, that picture was somebody who just had standard treatment before and after, and that was after about three months. And you can wow. see what a difference. There's that also does. one other treatment that we're seeing for acne that most dermatologists aren't aware of, and that's called yeast. And so yeast is something that can affect people greatly and cause a lot of problems, and most dermatologists don't treat it. Can we talk about this Accutane shot right here? This looks, the difference she, there. Her skin is beautiful. Isn't Great. that amazing? And people are afraid of Accutane, and with good reason. Accutane isn't something that we would start on somebody the first time that we see them, but when you see results like this, it's absolutely amazing. But many of our treatments that you see the pictures of did not require Accutane. This, this individual didn't require Accutane at all. And the, the thing you were talking about, Mary, mm -hmm. she was telling me that she was so happy she didn't have to wear makeup. Uh -huh. And that's, that's to me that's the biggest uh... compliment. When people come in, they said, oh, I used to have to wear makeup and get up like an hour in advance to put uh -huh. makeup on. Now I don't have You're to. You're doing the concealers and it, all of these things just to have beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like that it always goes back to confidence for me that you can leave the house and just put on a little bit of lip gloss and feel like and, you're as beautiful. Be yeah. yeah. But I was looking at some of those. What causes the scarring? 
uh, some acne causes scarring. What, what causes that? And then what can you do about the scarring? You know, the thing that causes the scarring is inattention. I think that people... Just not taking care of it. Absolutely. People, uh, parents say, oh, it's a rite of passage. You just mm -hmm. have to, you know, live it and wor it'll work itself out. And mm -hmm. all that time, that acne is scarring and causing problems. So we really do recommend that people come in sooner rather than later mm -hmm. and avoid the scarring. Avoid the scarring. Um, let's show you where to find Dr. Schlesinger. Odds are you already know because when it comes to skin, he is the guy. Um, online, it's lovelyskin.com slash dermatology to learn more about acne, the causes, the treatments, um, but to just know that there are things you can do, but it's not a one-size-fits-all treatment because it could depend, like, where are you in life? Are you looking for treatment for your teenager or is this something mm -hmm. that, you know, you're in your 40s or 50s and you're like, all of a sudden my skin's breaking out, what gives? You know, you just start with that first visit. Yeah, that's a good point, though. A lot of parents say, you know, it's a rite of passage. Just mm -hmm. it'll take care of itself eventually. But there are op options out mm -hmm. there for treatment. Thank Definitely. you for, for coming in today <clears throat> and walking us through it. I feel like we both learned. We did. I learned a lot. <laughs> right. Well, thank you. Yeah. And it's great. always great to be here. Have a great thank upcoming you. weekend. Stay cultural cool. Series. Yeah, thank no you. Stay cool Thanks, out doctor. there, doctor. Appreciate it. Well, safety and technology.